Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a third stimulus check update video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the status of the most trending topic in the world, and that is the third stimulus check. We also are going to discuss unemployment, EBT, hazard pay, social security. Why? Because it is actually, now guys, you already know, this is my favorite segment to do. This is when I get to answer your questions. That's right, you, my darling, and you, and you, and you. Girl, put that food down, your question too. So if you wanna know what the family had to ask, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because your girl is getting snatched on you, okay? This lipstick is popping, which you can get, okay? My ebook is helping people make money, okay? And your girl is feeling good. I'm feeling good. Go ahead and dance with me, y'all. Get your little dance on. Smile, laugh. Life is about laughter, my darling. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The first question comes from Nicole. Hi, Nicole. She says, hey, Shalay, are we getting a third stimulus check? Girl, it looks like we are getting a third stimulus check, but right now, you know, they're trying to work out the kinks on it, okay? But it does look like we're getting some. And you know, word on the street is we might get it before March. So I'm always down with it. The next person comes from Laquata. Laquata says, with the possibility of income changes, would the standards be the same? Will only 16 and under receive a stimulus check? So girl, they are going back and forth. Right now, the latest talks is $50,000 or less will receive a stimulus check, and it's still supposed to be per dependent. So under 16 will receive it, and if you were carried, but unless something changes, right? That's what the talks are right now. As of right now, it hasn't been just like a true vote. Yes, this is what, it's not the final answer. The final countdown. All right, moving along. The next one comes from Dorothy. I received my first stimulus check for the dependents. Will I get it for the dependents on the second round? And if yes, do I need to do anything? No, Dorothy, go ahead and call up Blanche Rose. And I always forget one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I always forget the golden girl. It's Dorothy, Blanche, Rose. Help me with the next one because I'm having a brain issue right now, okay? But call up your golden girls. You're gonna get it. You don't have to do nothing. Sit back and relax and help me down in the comments below with the other golden girl, Sophia. There we go. Call up. <laughs> I moved along. The next one comes from Cass. Hey, Shalai, I have a question. Are there any talks about not having to pay back the unemployment or extra money that I was given? I, along with several of my friends, were first-time unemployment benefit recipients, okay, I got you, who didn't know that we had to have taxes taken out of our unemployment benefits. Ooh, girl. Now we're stuck owing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thanks for the information that you can provide. I love your channel. Well, hey, Cass, thank you for submitting. And girl, quit being so dramatic. You don't owe no hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> you already know, they're not even gonna give you hundreds of thousands of dollars. But on there, as of right now, some representatives and the um, taxpayer advocate, Aaron Collins, is putting together something to try to see if they can... Um, waive like the first ten thousand um, dollars for unemployment when you go to file your taxes because you is your first time but a lot of people didn't know and some people that didn't know girl they needed the money okay we're not here to judge what they did so she understands that so as of right now there's talks of a a bill put together where if you didn't have the taxes taken out that the ten thousand dollars would go to that but girl it's okay mama you live and you learn right well, my, my dad always said that, keep living. Just keep living, girl. All right, the next one comes from Keisha or Keisha. All right, it's probably Keisha. I just want to be dramatic, just like Cass. All right, can an SSI disability recipient get the stimulus? Yes, they can. I was doing my son's taxes because he received a 1099G form for getting pandemic unemployment. He gets SSI since September. Will I go on to do taxes? There's a form called the Added Recovery Rebate Credit Worksheet that is giving him both stimuluses. 
He had federal taxes taken out his PUA. Okay. Is he actually due both stimuluses? Yes, more than likely he is. Seems like they are basing it off his 2020 taxes. He was a dependent on our taxes in 2018. He filed his own in 2019, but he still is a dependent on our taxes as well. I don't want his SSI check being affected by his refund. I don't think you have that to worry about, mama. Even though my research shows that it should not. Yeah, I think you're okay, Keisha. But if you always want to be like, you know, look here. I always tell you, I know, I know H&R Block Turbo Tax. I know they high, right? I get it. They are expensive. But this is not an ordinary year, right? This is all this money came in. A lot of different stuff happened this year. I myself is going to use a tax preparer and I, and I went to tax school and I'm still going to use a tax preparer just because you know like I've been doing this thing but I haven't been doing this thing like for years and years and I don't want to miss out on any deductions this year so I advise anyone to do the same like I know you can go in there and get you the little software the 999 and you know you do your family's taxes and all this stuff not this year it's a little bit different let's go to cheap route next year okay is that okay, friend? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. You always do. All right. The next one comes from Cheryl. May I have the contact information for Natchez, Mississippi, Savannah, Georgia, and Arizona moving incentives? Yes. All you have to do is go to like their site. You can go to the Mississippi site for tourism. Um, you could go on there or you could even just type in Google, friend. Type in Google incentive for moving to Mississippi. If you're unaware of what she's talking about, Mississippi is doing $6,000 if you decide to move to their state and buy a home. So in Natchez, Mississippi, they're giving out incentives, but they're not the only states that's doing it. Like Tulsa, Oklahoma is doing it, Savannah, Georgia, Arizona. So if you just needed a break, if you wanted to get your family, you want, you know, a different pool of men, you just wanted some fresh air. I don't know about the Mississippi air, but if you wanted that, this is the time to get paid, little mama, get paid. You can move and get paid. All right, the next one comes from Andrea. Are there any programs out there to help a person who was unemployed during the pandemic because of caring for an elderly parent who has major health issues? We get food stamps, but my mom only gets a little bit over $800 between her SSA and SSI. She does not have some benefits that help us with expenses through her Medicaid and Medicare. However, my landlord recently renewed my lease through March and being unemployed, I have not open my business. I have done my home daycare since 1995. Oh, that was a good year. That's when tag team was out. Tag team back again. Check it, Rick it. Let's begin. All right, moving along. And it became hard for us to find a home to rent at this time. Are you familiar with any programs that can help? Good question, Andrea. So yes, there are programs that will help you with the assistance of the elderly. Now I would first dial 211. I can't think of the name because it's different for different states, but they do have where in-home healthcare um, agents can come in and assist and they have because of the pandemic and because of what's going on, I think it was like 20 hours per week. It was either 10 or 20 hours. Now it's not a full-time gig girl, but it'll give you that breath, you know, to go ahead and get yourself together, get your business back. And then that way somebody can handle and take care of mom. Dial 211 first. You're going to have to go to our big daddy Google, right? And type it in. But did I see programs for it? Absolutely. You didn't put your state you didn't put your city, so I, I didn't have anything to look at. Is there programs? Absolutely, though. Okay, love? I hope that helps you, mama. And good job for you. Thank you so much for taking care of your mom, your family. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't have the means to do it and the fact that you are doing it. So, congrats. Your mom raised you well, love. All right, the next one comes from Brenda. Brenda's got a baby. All right, my children receive free lunch and the first pandemic EBT. We did not get the second EBT and they have been virtual learners from the start. Nothing has changed. I called ODE, ODJFS and many their school many times. The school said an error occurred and they would resubmit us since we somehow were removed from the list. They were seven and 11 at the time. To date, we have received nothing in pandemic EBT. Nothing has changed. Still virtual income, still the same. Address is still the same. What can we do about this? We need the help. The school is not responsive either. You're going to have to go down to the, um, what state are you in? Because you didn't put your state. Like, is your, has your state already been approved for the pandemic? Like, are you in one of the states like Illinois, Indiana, Texas, Vermont, Tennessee, Rhode Island? Are you in one of those states, Massachusetts? 
let i mean you have to you didn't give me much to go off mama but if you're in one of those states and you didn't get it they should have a contact where you can go like to if you type in ebt on google it'll come up like ebt resources and you can go there but if your state has not been approved so just say you're in alaska alaska isn't on the list just yet so on there you're gonna have to wait until they start issuing it out but i would just keep contacting dhs or girl you're gonna have to the school whoa school what contact do y'all have who removed me from the list? Who is that? How did I get removed? Who is that person? Girl, you're going to have to be, you know, you know, you're going to have to be a little bit more assertive. Like, look here. I need them because my child needs this food. Now, we can sit up here. We can play these games. But y'all going to give me that contact information. Respectfully. All right, moving along. The next one is Rebecca. I have not received my $1,500 hazard pay from the agency I work at already received the money the deadline has passed what do i need to do i keep talking to people she's lying saying that she but she brought a ninety thousand dollar range rover i think i need your help girl i hope she ain't used your hazard pay money to get that range rover just saying but what agency do you work for you didn't say what agency you didn't say the state on there girl i always talk to people i don't talk to people over the phone like that no 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 ma'am miss me i exercise my right with the email okay what you do is rebecca you get back to work and you start typing it up to the supervisor whoever it is right this is over your 1500 dollars pay i don't know hr you say you know hello you know greetings tanya i'm writing this email in regards to my 1500 dollars hazard pay at this time i have yet to receive it it showed on here that the deadline was this is that just giving an inquiry can you please let me know be very nice very to the point da 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 you send off the email you give her about 48 hours 72 hours to respond Hopefully she responds. She don't respond. The next time you take the email, who's above Tanya? Oh, Lewis is da da da. I'm gonna go ahead and CC Lewis, CC Tanya. I'm gonna go ahead and write her back again. Hey Tanya, just you know, reaching back out. I sent you an email, you know, a few days ago. Just want to make sure if you've seen it, da da. Because maybe she didn't see it. Maybe it went to the junk mail. Maybe she was off. Give her the benefit of the doubt. But now you got Lewis on there, right? So Lewis up here seeing if she gonna respond and when somebody else, when her boss on there, she'll usually respond. But you talk to people in email, right? Because then if you talk on the phone and you do all this stuff, I don't recall that conversation. They get amnesia. But when you talk in email, here's the receipts. Now what? You get a lot accomplished. Ask me, I am the email queen. All right, moving along. So that's what you do, mama. And her 90,000 Range Rover, we gonna hope that she ain't use y'all hazard pay. I'm gonna say she hasn't used her hazard pay. She just work hard. All right, the next one comes from Clarice. Hey, sis, I'm wondering if my son will be entitled to PUA back pay in Kentucky. After his accident in November 2018, he started a side hustle in February 2019. Good boy. Which included helping people make beats and music using his equipment and talent, but he had to stop in June of 2019 due to COVID. Of course, people stopped coming and he didn't want to risk his health for his family either. He just recently applied and was approved for PUA. And I was wondering if he's going to receive back payments in, from June until now. Um, I don't know if he will receive, if he applied back in June, then he should get it. Absolutely, his back pay. So as long as he was certifying every single week, he should get it. So if that's your question, yeah, he should get his back pay. As long as he was certified. Now, if he wasn't certifying and he just applied and got it, then no, he won't get the back pay. But if he does it, then yeah. All right, the next one comes from Mary. Need more details about the Grant College in New York City. You spoke about the HERF grant on Friday. Child, full-time students cut off SNAP since February 2020. Can't get any info on any child. I tried applying for SNAP at college. It said my child is on my case. How much can I get needed in the household? So Mary, on here, one, you want your child to go and see if the school is offering any grants, right? So because the schools were disseminated all this money from the federal government, they are assisting students that are most in need with their FAFSA. So you wanna see, hey, contact your financial aid advisor. Tell your son, he gotta start meeting these folks, okay? You need to go in there, ask them folks what you qualify for. And if they say that they have grants, they have something, then that's how you do it. It's not a guarantee that every school will have some. That's why I said you gotta inquire. Now, when it comes to the food stamps, it just depends. Cause I just did a video 
on there where I talked about the governor of New York, Governor Cuomo has said the students will be enrolled where some schools have taken it upon themselves to automatically enroll students in EBT like SUNY. So it's gonna be a little bit more research, girl. You're gonna have to send that son. He gonna have to go from here, here. Well, if your representative said he don't qualify, well, why doesn't he qualify? You need to give me more than he don't qualify. What do we need to do? How do I prove this? How do I show it? You're gonna have to get deep down past that surface level. Like, we can't let these people keep saying no. You know, you go to somebody, hey, well, can I get this? No, well, why not? Well, you don't qualify. Well, why, why don't I qualify? What am I missing? What do I need to do? Who do I need to talk to? Do I need to resubmit this? If I need to resubmit, what form do I need to resubmit? Who I submit it to? Girl, always ask the who, what, when, how, where. Always include that in your email. Who you talking to, what you need, when you need it by, how much it's supposed to be. You need to ask all these things. You be very specific when talking to people. All right, moving along. Was that too much? The next one comes from Shamise. Are there any resources to help pay property taxes? Girl, I wish. I haven't found any. The only thing I know that sometimes you can get out of property taxes if you have like certain disabilities, um, VA disabilities, stuff like that, but girl, I haven't. The next one comes from Janetta. Hey, Shalai, I purchased your ebook and planner. Am I supposed to get a copy in the mail? No, Janetta, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting your girl. Thank you. Hopefully you purchase the ebook and planner and you use it. But honey, it's an ebook. I mean, you get it digitally. It comes to you. Check your spam or promotions folder on there. I'll send you an email after this just to make sure you got it. But that is a good ending point right there. Get my ebook, get my planner. Start to let these folks know they better put some respect on your name, okay? When you start addressing people, you put those five things in there. The who, what, when, why, and how in that email. We don't talk to people on the phone. You got to talk to me send it in writing okay let's get that email going so that way you have the receipts my darling because them conversations that don't mean anything i don't know what you're talking about but that's what you're gonna do you're gonna get my ebook you're gonna get my planner you're gonna get the lipstick and yeah you're gonna have you some fun today all right so that's all i have as always please like comment subscribe and i will talk to you tomorrow bye guys better put some respect on your name who they, who they playing with